let me tell you, when I was growing up, it wasn't cool. <laughs> I got called Oreo a lot from people that didn't realize that the banjo is America's African instrument brought here with the diaspora, the black diaspora. Of course, ultimately, if you go back far enough, mitochondrial Eve, you know. It's all of us. It's all of us. But truly, I was raised, in fact. I wished, I wished I'd been raised by wolves, but I was raised somewhat unfortunately by white supremacists. People suffering, suffering from the delusion, the illness, the addiction. I think it's all of those things to white supremacy. I love them and I forgive them. I love them and I forgive them. We don't get to choose who we're born to, who we're fostered by, who we're adopted by, who we're stolen by. In my case, my primary abuser was my adoptive father. He didn't get to choose his circumstances either. He was born in 1936 in a sundown town in Indiana. He was born into a community that believed what our constitution once said, which is that people that look like Ganesha and me were three-fifths of a human being. He believed that, and his community believed that. And he had an abusive, violent family on top of the abusive, violent ideology that he was fed, the lies he was fed. And unfortunately for him, unlike me, he didn't get an intervention from a beautiful, chosen family. Know this, whatever your circumstances, if you are feeling unloved in your circumstances right now, unseen, unheard, there is a chosen family that will love you, that will see you, that will hear you, and that will accept you joyfully, exactly as you are. If it can happen for me, it can happen for anybody. When I was 15 and running scared and living on the streets and sleeping in the cemetery because I was safer there than I was in the home of the people who called themselves my family, I would never have believed you that life could get this good. Never. If it can happen for me, it can happen for anybody. Hang in there. I need you exactly as you are. Persephone 